Now we come to the last virtue, vision. Seeing the big picture. And this is very relevant because this is the virtue that you follow. I can tell. Judges can tell these things after a while. And I really hope that you're just a visionary and not one of the other two crazy ones. That I can't tell which one you are. So here's hoping. Anyway, visionaries, the non-crazy of the vision, which the name is confusing. Anyway, visionaries, they see the big picture. They're curious. They're explorers. They're psychics. They can see the future to some extent. They can see the past to some extent. They can understand weaknesses of creature differently from how us judges do it, differently from how the innocents do it. They're sort of, yeah, psychic, basically, predicting. It's difficult life, I have to warn you, if you're a visionary. You see a lot. You have to act on it, or sometimes you have to not act on it, and that's really the hardest thing there is when you know that something's gonna happen people are gonna die and there's nothing you can do about it because if you do something it'll be worse but that's the visionary's fate also amongst the vision we have two sort of lost never met um lost creeds never met any of them myself, but I knew someone who knew someone anyway. Also, there's the online, they talk a lot. There's the hermits. Now, the hermits, they're into communication. They hear the voices of the messengers, not just at the beginning when they get imbued when you saw that mare, but all the time. And I mean all the time they very quickly go completely mad. Their abilities, they communicate with us, they get messages, basically their massive Wi-Fi network if they worked, which they don't. Now, from what I've heard, sometimes they'll work for a while uh, and then go crazy. The being around monsters and us hunters seems to trigger them, so they often get the hermits become hermits. You kind of see where the name came from. Um, then sometimes they come out of retirement for one last job. Uh, and then they go back and diffuse their craziness and might come back in again. But yeah, they would be fantastic if we could just have a sane one around for a mission or two. We could just coordinate such fantastic fantastic operations simultaneously. It would be lovely. But, yep, we do with what we can. Now, the last ones are the waywards. And you know how I said the Avengers are simple, direct killers? The waywards are simple, massively indirect, psychotic killers. I don't actually know if they are completely insane. You might be able to have them in a group. They are focused on the complete eradication of all the monsters. Hooray, you say. Even the ones who might be good or redeemable. Hooroo. Even the humans who might have some dealing with the monsters or have been corrupted by them or even just said hi to them one day. Okay, you're starting to see they are fanatics, uncontrollable. They have, they're not just, they don't just rush in, fortunately, but they have plans and nothing will stand in their way. And if any of us show less than sufficient enthusiasm at killing monsters, then we are standing in the wayward's way. These folk are crazy and do not seek them out do not cross them do not talk with them run away from them at least from what i've heard so that those are the three virtues and soon we'll talk about the monsters that we combat because well it's useful to know about the monsters 
and you can never know when something might be watching us from some position very, very close by.